Alright guys, Tim here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing something a little different and we're going to be doing a reaction video and I know I don't show my face but here it is and I decided to do this reaction video because it's a very special occasion uh, as you guys can see from the title of the video Minecraft has officially reached 1 trillion views on YouTube and whenever a huge thing happens on the internet I usually like to celebrate in my own little way so here we are right now and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to react to this video and uh, I'm going to point out stuff, give out my perspective playing these, playing this game over the past decade and stuff like that, point out anything I see. And then afterwards, we're going to go to the YouTube website where they have a little bit of a trip down memory lane for me and anyone who's watching this video to see just this hell of a game that's had a great journey. So I don't want to talk too much. Let's just get straight into it. So, um, great song, by the way. We built this city on rock and roll. It goes well with the game, you know, building. And also, freaking love 80s music. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was already a YouTuber there. That Lava Creeper, uh, Preston Plays. So, that's that's one. Um, hold on. I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, so it looks like we also have Blue Monkey here. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a very popular Minecraft animator. And also, looks like we got Stampy Longhead here in the back. And this guy right here, I think he belongs to the Dream SMP, but somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. And there is probably some other YouTubers here that I'm probably not familiar with. Also, let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, so this guy right here, um, I believe this is Log Dog Zip. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Grion and Mumble Jumbo. Yes, yes, that's amazing. I love that. Oh my god. Athmau. Oh my god. So it looks like, yeah, see, this is what I like about this video. Literally, everybody is here. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah so everybody's here. Um, for those of you who don't know, this animation right here, I think this is being done by is being done by a guy named Element Animation who is known for making uh, the Eggs Guide to Minecraft. Fantastic series. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and see it because it's a very good Minecraft animated series. He's a very good animator. Um, definitely a part of the Minecraft community. I feel like one thing people often forget is the fact that it wasn't just the Let's Plays and stuff that made Minecraft. It was also stuff like animated music parodies and Minecraft animations in general that also just made this game just so great. So it's very important to look at that stuff too. So instantaneously we got some references to the Dream SMP, of course. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry if I keep pausing, by the way. I just want to point everything out. But, of course, we have... Uh, I think this guy's a reference to the Captain Sparkles video, Falling Kingdom. And, of course, we got PewDiePie there. Um, and uh, looks like they're about to participate in a dropper, which is one of the most classic Minecraft minigames. Dropper's been around for, like, a really long time. Like, I want to say 2011, 2012, the dropper has been around. Man. Don't <laughs> Of course, we have Dan TDM there. It, it's kind of a shame. I don't. I haven't seen popular MMOs anywhere in this video. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, but you know, it's a good video. All right. So one more thing before let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, automatically you see this yellow stick figure here if you guys don't know what that's a reference to there's a youtuber named called Alan Becker who does these amazing uh, stick figure animation videos I remember watching uh, the Minecraft animation it, they, they are so well made and they rack in millions of views so I'm really glad they referenced that here but yeah really good I don't really see anything else here 
pe- pe- more people who are probably have better eyes than me can probably spot some more details that I'm missing here. But you know, you can put it in the comments below. <laughs> nice. I love that. Alright, so that's the video. It's very short, only like 153 seconds. I love it. Very nice. But uh, I feel like the real meat is going to be from going to YouTube Space. So let's go ahead and head over there and see what we can find. Alright, so we're here on YouTube's page, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in full screen. And of course, it says Minecraft on YouTube. The gaming community hits a mind boggling milestone. <laughs> Achievement get, get a million views. So we have some creators here. Um, all right. A journey through one trillion views of Minecraft. Explore the data behind the mind boggling milestone. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, maybe we can see here. Enter the number of Minecraft videos you watched. Wait, really? Views, one trillion, one trillion Minecraft views. Exploring the data behind a mind boggling milestone for gaming creators on YouTube. Estimate you're contributing to one million views. Yo, I can't even do that because I can't even tell you how many Minecraft videos I've watched. I've watched too many. Uh, oh, we can also filter by location. So we got Australia. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so I, I can't really tell by this graph, but it looks like. Um, let's see here. Okay, so it does look like a sizable majority of the most popular videos are animations, which makes sense. And it appears that the, um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, so the second is Minecraft, but what? Oh, okay, okay. So we got animation, and then after that we have Minecraft, but videos that demonstrate my character skill. Okay. And then, of course, we also have roleplay. It appears to be the uh, second biggest. And then, of course, we have, um... Survival and Hunger Games, uh, speed runs is pretty small. We also have uh, survival multiplayer, and then of uh, the small, and then the well, this one's the smallest. But we also have the 100 days thing. So that's very interesting to see how animation is the biggest one. And we keep scrolling here. Minecraft over time reaching 1 trillion views of Minecraft videos could not have happened without the collective efforts of tens of thousands of creators playing, experimenting, streaming, and uploading Minecraft videos. By analyzing over a decade of data, we've been able to assemble a timeline of some of the most impactful creators' videos since day one. Of course, so we have Captain Sparkles. Um, okay, CoStar. Oh yeah, I know who CoStar is. Yeah, I've heard of him. Of course, Yox, Cast, Lewis, and Simon. Um, there was actually one Yoxcast member. He isn't a Yoxcast member anymore, but there was a guy named uh, William Strife. He did the Minecraft guide. That guide was so amazing. If you guys haven't seen it before, go check it out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so a bunch of these guys I probably won't know about. You guys are probably will. Paul Storage Jr. I know because he did the Survive and Thrive series, if you guys haven't heard about that. I came across it at my local book fair because they were giving out the Minecraft guide books. I would get them now, but I don't know where they are. But yeah, uh, they have the Paul Sora stuff in it. Of course, uh, some of the smaller ones here. Let's see here. Let's continue. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so uh, much of these guys I'm not recognizing. Yeah, a bunch of these guys. C Nanners. Yes, I know C Nanners. C Nanners is a good one. Okay, so of course we have Sparkles. Who else? Yeah, so we have a bunch of smaller creators here. Ant Venom is a good one. Uh, Zach Scott, yes, Zach Scott's really good. Uh, I has Cupquake, she's perfect. Um, uh, yeah, a bunch of <laughs> Minecraft. Okay, I like how they put themselves here. Well, actually, YouTube put this together, so that's that. Um, uh, Toby, to- Toby Games. Let's not forget about Tobuscus, guys. Let's not forget about Tobuscus. All right, uh, Z Royal Viking. I'm subscribed to him. He does really great Minecraft videos. Okay, of course the Yogg's Cast with Lewis and Simon. And uh, okay, so okay, Toby Sky does Minecraft. Well, he goes by Sky does everything now, but Sky does Minecraft was a very big one with the um, uh, him Ross and the gang Nostalgia Craft Team Crafted uh, Cops and Robbers. Uh, you know it, it's just really something else. Seth Bling, oh my God, this is so nostalgic. Just looking at all this stuff. All right, and of course we have all these smaller creators here. Of course, shout out to them. Exploding TNT is a good one. Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth did Minecraft videos? I didn't know that. All right. And of course, we also have... Hmm, let's see here. 
element animation. There he is. Exploding TNT, of course. Uh, now, of course, we're... Okay, so we got Sky, Stampy, Longhead, of course. Popular MMOs. Okay, there you go. There's his mention. Okay. Yeah, popular MMOs. I remember, like, back in the day, I used to watch nothing but popular MMOs. I used to live, breathe, and just eat that channel. Uh, Sunday is a really good one. Uh, I wonder if they're going to have Jack Frost Miner in here. We should probably keep scrolling. So in 2014, we have 7.4 billion views already. Uh, probably MMO is getting pretty big. Of course, you can't have a Minecraft history discussion without the Diamond Minecart. This man is a juggernaut. The modded Minecraft videos with Dr. Trioris, instant classics. Um, of course, we have, of course, um, Allier. Oh, more Allier. So, of course, he does stuff other than Fortnite. Okay, okay, cool. Preston plays. There you go. Um, I can imagine. Oh, Venturian Tail. Yeah, Venturian Tail also did a bunch of Minecraft videos. All right, let's see here. Of course, the Atlantic Craft. I haven't really watched much of the Atlantic Craft growing up. I don't know. I just they never really saw it that much appealing to me. All right, let's see here. Of course, this is uh, 2015, so Minecraft is kind of at its height in this time. Because in the next couple of years, things are going to die down because of Fortnite and simply... Oh, LD Shadow Lady, there you go. But like I said, things are going to die down because of uh, Fortnite and stuff like that. But, you know, still on the up and up. Alright. Okay, so most of these other guys I don't know too much about. And it appears that some of them are in foreign languages. So now we're in 2016. Uh, hmm. Alright. Uh... Yeah, so a bunch of these guys I still am not familiar with. Afmal, there's Afmal. Sam Gladiator, oh my goodness. So, Sam Gladiator is actually very important to me because, of course, if you guys are watching this channel, you'll notice my channel name is Tim Gladiator. I love him so much. Like, so basically, back in 2015, as you guys can see, two of the best things in the world were Minecraft and Five Nights at Freddy's. His Minecraft Five Nights at Freddy's role plays are so good. If you guys have not seen it, it's something else I recommend. Go watch them. They're amazing. And he's the reason why I named myself Gladiator. Because, man, his videos are so nice. And thankfully, he's one of the... Thankfully, he still uploads to this day. Although, he uploads kind of uh, non-frequently as he used to. So, you know, quality over quantity, basically. So, that's nice. It's very nice to see him here. Um, man, this is just crazy. Unspeakable gaming, it's just so insane. For those of you who grew up in the 2010s with this game, you guys watching this video, you guys already know what it is. Iballistic Squid, oh my god, Jerome ASF. It's just crazy, this game. And to think that it's still going is really, really something else. Okay. Oh my god, it's crazy. Popular MMOs and Dan Nem still on top. Oh my god, it's just a, it's just crazy, man. I wonder if I'm missing anything here. It looks like I have most people. Little Lizard Adventures is another noticeable one. Moose is also good, man. All right, I think that's mostly everyone here. All right, so 2018, we're about to get into the 2018 Minecraft is still kind of dead, but we're about to get into the revival here. Okay, so a bunch of these people that uh, we already highlighted. 2019. Uh, okay, so yeah, okay, so this is where Minecraft gets into the reviving. Of course, PewDiePie plays the game, and the game just skyrockets in popularity. It was in 2019, and more specifically in 2020, is when I finally beat the game for the first time. I beat the Ender Dragon. I beat the Wither. I got full Netherite armor. I got... Pretty, I pretty much I did everything. And if you guys want to see the world I did this in, uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description for that, and as a and uh, the end card of this video, so you guys can go check that out. But I put a lot of effort into that world, and I still have it. I transferred it over to my gaming PC when I got my gaming PC because I did not want to let that world go. Because my God, it was just so much fun just playing this game, and I just I just can't believe how endless this game is. A mumbo jumbo, of course, and we have Grion. Uh, all right, and then of course 2020 is the year of speedrun, so we see a lot of the Dream SMP. We have Dream, there we go, and uh, a lot of these new Minecraft creators. I I'm sorry if I'm not familiar with them. I'm an oldie. 
I'm only really familiar with the the veterans, so there's that. But I am always discovering new talent. Um, and of course, we have the one trillion mark. So we have people like Tommy Lennett and Steve, apparently. <laughs> All right, so let's go explore the other pages then. Um, hmm, how do I go back here? All right, let's see here. Nope, not that. Mm, let's see here. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Let me get out of this. All right, so we're back on the main page here, and the second slide is here is the borderless joys of Minecraft. Let's open this in a new tab if we can. All right. All right, the borderless joys of Minecraft. So, of course, Minecraft is an internationally recognized game. All right, Brazil, Turkey. Okay. I don't know if I want to read all these, but, you know, of course, very popular game all over the world, so it's nice to see them referencing just not the United States. Let's go back. I don't think there's really not that much here. <laughs> here. Celebrating culture and identity. A growing number of Minecraft YouTubers are celebrating their own real identities into the game. That's nice. All right. All right. So it appears that this guy, of course, is using Minecraft to most likely celebrate traditions and stuff. Which is the thing about the game I always love. Just the creativity of it is just really, really good. All right, so of course, if we go back, all right, pioneering women of early Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah, there are a lot of Minecraft YouTubers who are women, which is nice because diversity is the very key. All right, all right. So of course, we got Aphmau, I has Cupquake. Very important to recognize the importance of these women in Minecraft YouTuber and. Because, you know, a lot of these people put out amazing content. So they not should not be oversighted. Uh, do we have more here? Okay, so... Uh, okay, cool. So there's only a little bit left. Okay, cool. So, uh, okay, so... The cozy corner of Minecraft YouTube. Alright, the cozy corner. Alright. So, of course, we have a lot of Minecraft ASMR, which... I haven't really watched. If I, I do watch ASMR, but not really Minecraft videos based on ASMR. The future of Minecraft, I really hope that the future of this game is bright. But I get the feeling that it is because it's just continuously putting out good content. And the builds, even like people still to this day are making builds that they started 10 years ago and stuff like that. Like, look at that. It's really crazy. So yeah, this is the Alan Becker guy, if you guys don't know. He makes, these are the animations. They're just freaking, like they really will blow your mind. I really recommend you guys go check them out. All right, so let's look at these last two. Let's look at these last three. No, the last two here. Meet Dervia Cat. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. The Bard of Minecraft YouTuber. Okay, records of the SMP. It tells story from the SMP with soaring vocal melodies. Yeah, so a very key uh, part of Minecraft's history is just the parody song. I think my favorite, besides um, the Creeper. Ah, uh, Creeper is um. Wrecking Mob by Caveman Films, if you guys have heard that song. That song's freaking amazing. I have it on Apple Music, and according to them, it's like one of my most played songs. I can listen to that song all day, and I don't get rid of it. Such good talent on here. And it's not even just Captain Sparkles and um, and um, and Caveman Films. It's a bunch of other good songs that have been parodied in Minecraft. Um, another one that I like is... Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to leave that. Is... Um, it's one that is a parody of Imagine Dragons, and it's such a good song. Uh, it's called Ender Dragons. It's very good. And, of course, one of the biggest things to come out of Minecraft this decade is, of course, the Dream SMP, the epic for the Minecraft Mine Era. The Dream SMP is basically kind of like, I wouldn't say it's a Minecraft drama, but it's Minecraft. It was a TV show. I think it's one of like I think it's one of the longest running shows of all time. Don't get like, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely is something that you should check out. Like I have so many friends nowadays that want to make their own SMP based off of the Dream SMP. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for enjoying me with this basically trip down memory lane. I remember back in 2015 when I played this game. Uh, for the first time, seeing my friend play it on play Minecraft Pocket Edition, and wanting to mess around with Minecraft because he was messing around with Minecraft, and then just in the summer of that year, playing it on the Xbox 360 with my friend, and I'm gonna say this right now, and don't take it the wrong way. I kind of hate 
the way Bedrock looks. I like the way Bedrock plays, but I hate the way it looks. The UI in Bedrock is not as good as the original console UI. For those of you who remember the, the old console UI, it looked miles more better than the Bedrock UI, but that's just my opinion. That may be just the nostalgia talking, but honestly, in my opinion, that's just, it just is the, it's the better UI, but just playing that and getting the confidence to actually get out of my house and play survival instead of just playing on creative and then of course all these years of watching youtubers and stuff it's just one hell of a game i hope that this game has many more years ahead of it uh, if you guys want to read all the stuff i'll leave it in the link below as well as the original minecraft video and uh, if you guys want to see me play minecraft i do have a twitch channel uh, the link for that will also be in the description thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.